You, you can rebuild me? Better, stronger, faster? A better Texas hillbilly? Oh, my gosh. Thank God I'm a hillbilly from Texas. Uh, let's thank God I'm not one of these android brainwashed people, glow-in-the-dark folks that don't even know how to tie their shoelaces and are so soft. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, uh, it is the barbarian trailblazing uh, spirit that brought Leif Erikson to the new world 600, 700 years before um, Christopher Columbus. And it's going to be that same spirit of human potential that will lead us to the stars, folks, not the nanny state, not the dehumanizing forces. Uh, they're kind of stopping in front of the Capitol now, and then I guess they're going to march. The key, I know they're going to do this, is to march into South by Southwest in and around the trendies. So they're going to flip out. Leanne, go talk to Jakari, because I want to find out. I mean, they can lead the march wherever they want, but I, I, I maybe talk to the media. But strategy here, we need to march down Congress and down to 6th Street, down to 2nd Street. What's happening? Where's the route today? Well, the route, we're going to be going down Congress. We're going to be in the South by, uh, South by Southwest area, but we're going to start going straight down Congress right after we finish this uh, this group photo here. Maybe we can get a shot of all these patriots out here exercising their second amendment Lead rights. them in 1776 worldwide. 1776 worldwide. 1776 worldwide. Come on. <laughs> get them to say, get them to say, Molon Lobby. Everybody say Molon Lobby. Let's get Molon Lobby. What did he we say? Do, well, we, we do have one woman out here that is expressing her right to bear her guns, trying to uh, avoid getting that on camera. For You're the, not supposed for to have children. your headlights on during the day. <laughs> exactly. I mean, that's wasting so. energy. <laughs> it's a frivolous, frivolous exploit uh, d demonstration. I'm joking. Hey, that's, that's legal here in Austin, you know. I know. I hear you. Got to fight for those rights. Yeah, because it's not about liberal or conservative. It's about freedom. Exactly. That is quite barbarian, actually. A woman running around topless with a gun. I mean, that's and she's she's rolling with us. Her sign says, "More guns and more, more boobies." All right, almost. family show, Leanne. Come please. <laughs> Bleep that out, TJ. Terrible God's creations. Don't talk about it. <laughs> anyway, it's very horrible. Anyway, ser seriously, folks, live live radio out there a little bit, a little bit racy. We apologize for that. Here. All right, is the march starting? All right. Jakari, give us your take on this. Yes, we're about to move down here. Uh, we have the APD escort. Also, uh, we have the women in black out here. They're out here uh, protesting war. Uh, they're out here every Wednesday. And, you know, some nice ladies out here uh, who, I guess, also support our Second Amendment rights. You know, I run into a lot of liberal women who now own guns that are like, I'm a liberal, but I like your show. And I'm like, no, you just want freedom. The crowd is. Uh, the crowd is still. Jakari's going to see if uh, get the, get these ladies take on what we're doing out here today. All right, so we're moving in. Uh, that direction. Yes, yes. So we'll, we'll try to get over here and talk to some of these nice ladies. Those are good looking 1776. Hello, hello ladies. How are you doing, ladies? We should care. Made in 1776. Jakari Jackson, InfoWars.com. What are you ladies doing out here today? We, we're out here every Wednesday from 12 to 1, standing for peace. We're yes. against violence of any kind, anywhere that we should have resolutions for peace. Can I get a peace hug? Can I get oh, a peace hug? Cargill, Can I get Central a Texas gun work. Can I get a peace hug? Can I get Cargill a is now peace going hug. after the ladies. Oh, oh yeah. We want, we want peace as well. Everybody's out here peaceably assembled, <laughs> carrying their uh, carrying their long rifles, and we want peace. Texas peace, like he said. You know, Texas ask peace. her this, though, Jakari. What we want is a ban on offensive violence but 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 defensive violence is a very good thing because it restrains tyrants everywhere there's a difference we're against offensive violence so excuse me ladies let me let me ask you this because you see everybody out here with their long guns now you know they're using their long guns as a preventative measure they're not actually out here trying to menace anybody but do you agree with firearms for self-defense well i think that the Oh, the people who are very responsible should have guns. My father had guns and he went hunting, but he never used them for anything except hunting. Mm -hmm. He didn't ever think of them for self-defense. Bring them offense. Peace. The point we is, is that violence of any kind, if someone's oh, yeah, assaulting you. Now, uh, let's... 
he wants you to bring up the point of offense. It doesn't matter. Hey, hey, listen, listen, I got to go to break. You guys go keep doing interviews for the Nightly News. Let's get this march started. We're going to continue to cover it right straight through as we openly carry. Get in the nest of the South by Southwest. That's where there's going to be the fireworks. Stay with us. It's all coming up. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds. Is civilian legal in all 50 states? Is 100% made in the USA? Is veteran owned and ships next business day for free? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order Simply Safe today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through February 28th. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. It's that time of year again, and you know what that means. Cold and flu season. <coughs> but don't worry. HerbalHealer.com has you and your loved ones covered with our safe and natural products. Cold and flu fighters like beta-glucans, olive leaf antiviral capsules, grapefruit seed extract, HHA for herb capsules, elderberry power, and respirate. And don't forget about oregacillin for the lungs, normally $34.95, on sale now for only $25. Vitamin D3, 120-count soft gels, only $9. Whole body and homeopathic detoxes for the lungs, kidneys, liver, lymph, and brain, normally $26.95, now just $20. Herbalhealer.com also offers correspondence courses to teach you how to handle your health naturally. And as always, new customers get a free 128-page catalog with your order. Visit Herbalhealer.com and click the Winter Specials button to save on our natural cold and flu fighting products. HerbalHealer.com, healing the world with nature, one person at a time, since 1988. He's the T-Rex of political talk. Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. All right, I can see personally in live feeds upwards of eight different mainstream media TV cameras down there. So the mission's already a success with the open uh, carry to take over South by Southwest politically and not let Bloomberg come to our house, Texas, and try to ban free speech as well as Second Amendment. I mean, they've gone to Facebook and are going to like not let under 18s even see gun sites. They're going to put it in the same category as porn and start banning pro-gun memes and stuff. This is insane. So we'll just intensify our info war 10 times that. 
We're already winning culturally. By the way, there's an article on Infowars.com. College group bans white people from diversity happy hour. This space is not for white people. And that's happening all over the country. Whites are being told they're not welcome. And, of course, they really want to be there because they hate themselves and have been taught that they are the devil. So now they're threatening, you know, discrimination suits and stuff like that. This is what they've done, saying anybody that's pro-gun hates black people. That, 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 that has no place in reality. But MSNBC says it on a weekly basis so that black folks won't become pro-Second Amendment. I mean, why, why shouldn't they be? They, they, they need guns like anybody else. Good people need guns. Why are you bad and can't have a gun? Why is it all the black cities that have gun bans? So then only the criminals have it. I mean, this has all been thought out, folks. Because the Democrats are the party of the Klan. They weren't going to let black people ever have guns, folks. That's what it comes down to. And, and I just love seeing a lot of black folks and Hispanics and people out there wanting their Second Amendment because that's what this is all about. And a lot of black folks I talk to, I've done like Rob Redding's big syndicated show and others, and they really don't believe the Tea Party would welcome them to come to an event. They really think there's a bunch of people that hate them there. And I'm sure there might be somebody in a Tea Party event that not like black people or, or vice versa. But there's black people don't like white people. Look at the knockout game. I don't then see every black person out there and think they hate me and want to knock me out. And if I'm in an alleyway and some white guy looks like a thug and starts coming up, I'm going to get ready. But some black guy looks like a thug comes up, I'm going to get ready. But, I mean, because they act like thugs, not because they're black or white. Um, continuing here with Jakari Jackson and Leanne McAdoo, I can't wait till you guys... Get all the way down to 6th Street. Get all the way down to 2nd Street. Uh, I think you guys should march in front of the W. You should just march all over. But I see you've stopped again, Jakari. What's going on? Okay, well, I'm here with uh, with Justin, you know, the, the head of Come and Take It Austin. Uh, how's this thing going so far? Are oh. these the normal numbers that you get? Uh, this is really good turnout for Wednesday, especially only having, a, what, a day and a half of planning. So yeah. I, I would say this is a great turnout. Yeah. Probably more people than I expected. You know, we have uh, all kinds of media out here, Alex, as you pointed out. we got at least four or five various news agencies. we got people from New York down here. It's a, it's a great scene, and I'm very happy to see. Now, we're outside in front of this open carry friendly business, and the guys were just inside, maybe a few guys still left in there, where this business happily accepts open carriers so you can come in here with your long gun with your rifle strapped to your back and they will accept your business that's great and we do that in san antonio tour where people put little american flags on their windows to let them know they're pro second amendment now it's spreading all over the country we all just have to identify with each other that we're part of the liberty crew we're not divided on religion race all these other yeah, things look that look all these people alex you know we have people of every race we have men we have women uh just young old is this guy right here hey, are you working Oh, yeah, I, I just got out of work, but it's only on lunch breaks for a short amount so of time. So this man can, was so concerned about his Second Amendment rights, he came out here on his lunch break, had his come and take it hat. So what do you think about this crowd turnout? It's, it looks pretty great. Everyone's uh, fun and loving around here. There's no violence. Everyone's, you know, doing their time and, you know, taking it easy. It's it's all safe. Great job. Yeah. Hey, uh, Jakari, I want you to interview some of the South by Southwest folks, but th those two Froyleins right back behind you, go talk to them. Oh, these ladies, uh, sorry. Let's go talk to those young ladies, get their take on this. How you doing, ladies? Oh, hi. So, uh, I see you're out here, you're armed. So, what do you think about ladies carrying firearms? I love it. Um, I think it's every woman's individual choice. If she wants to carry, it's her right to do so. So, I think it's very safe. Very safe? I just love women with guns. I mean, I just, I <laughs> so, want women know, to be empowered. Just, we want women to be empowered. Ah! You guys very much are. Tell us what you're carrying today. I'm carrying an AR-15. Um, this is an AK-47. It's actually a friend of mine. So Let's take a look at this. It's beautiful. Look, look it's this, gorgeous. Look at this, this uh, gorgeous it's weapon. Mine, this this gorgeous. I, I like. I, I want to pet you. Can I pet your AK? Yeah. We're gonna. It's we're gonna gorgeous. do. Yes. Yeah, but so Bloomberg says that. he has 15 it bodyguards. Is, is. Yeah. You know. So you guys see uh, all these people out here, but a lot of these politicians who want to take your gun rights away, they have bodyguards. That they're armed. You know, Mayor Bloomberg. You know, he has 15 bodyguards. But he doesn't want you guys to be able to yeah, be on. Yeah, talk to the lady in the polka dot dress. Oh, I mean, that's that's the feminists don't like that. That's traditional. So let me ask you, you know, because they, they want women to be disarmed. If something did happen, they want you to be able to call the police. Now, we do have a police escort behind us. But what do you guys think about taking care of the situation yourself? I think it's our right and responsibility. Responsibility. That's a good word. You are responsible for your self-defense because when moments count, police are only, mo are only minutes away. And I believe the saying goes. Now, of course, we have our armed escort today but it's not like this all the time and if you do encounter some police it may not be on the most friendly circumstances but we do respect the austin police department for uh, abiding by the laws today and absolutely hey, get, get those ladies to say molon labe so can i get a molon labe cheer from you ladies <laughs> i right, one two three Mola!
Yeah. Yeah. All this free. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got another. Yeah. Got another We're going to break, Jakari. We're on the march.